Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And I wanted to show you really quick on how to install my repository link. My repository link does contain all of my scripts in one easy download. And if you're interested in doing the download, make sure to follow this video as I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. The easiest way to get my repository link is off of my website. Uh, hiddenlight-photography.com. You'll go to Pixinsight Scripts, and I have some text here on exactly how to uh, install the repository link, but uh, this video is gonna also go over some common issues and how to overcome them. Now, the first thing that you need to know is which Pixinsight version you're on. Now, keep in mind, the uh, latest Pixinsight update 1.9.0 did include some security measures, which is extremely good. I'm very happy about that. With that said, uh, we did have to get um, signature verification on our scripts. Mine did not get approved until 1.9.1. So if you're running 1.9.0, the scripts will not work. So make sure you're on at least 1.9.1 and higher. Now, if you're on 1.8.9 and lower, you are gonna need to use a different repository link. This does not affect the scripts, their functionality. Um, all that it is is the signature verification. The uh, repository link here will not work on 1.8.9 and lower. And on the flip side, this repository link here will not work on 1.9.1 and higher. Again, they're the same scripts, it's just the Pixinsight version. The easiest way to do this, once you know your Pixinsight version, if you have any questions on that, go to resources about Pixinsight and it'll have your version number right here. Once you have your version number, go ahead and click on the appropriate link. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, let's just say you want 1.9.1 and higher, click on the link, it's going to open up a separate window. Don't worry about the 400 invalid request error. All we're doing is we're uh, just grabbing the URL. We're gonna click so it highlights the whole thing. We're going to copy that link we're gonna go into Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. We're gonna click Add, and then we're simply going to paste the repository link in the Add Pixinsight repository window. We'll click OK, and then we'll click OK. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it again, but once you click OK, what you're gonna do is go to Resources, updates and check for updates. Now, I already have all of my repositories updated, so I'm gonna get this window here, but what you're gonna end up getting is a window that shows all of the available uh, repository updates. One of them is gonna be HLP AstroScripts. You're gonna click select all, and then you're gonna click okay. Once you get done with that, you're gonna go ahead and exit out of Pixinsight and then you're gonna get the Pixinsight update window. Just click OK. You may or may not get a window that pops up in the middle of the screen that asks if you want to allow this application to make changes to your device. Just go ahead and click yes, and then Pixinsight will go ahead and update. Now, once Pixinsight is done updating, it should automatically restart. If it doesn't, just go ahead and restart Pixinsight. Once Pixinsight is restarted, once you go to script, you'll see HLP, and you'll have all of my scripts. The same exact process works with either one of the repository links. Now, there could be a time where you do this update, and you go to script, and you don't see anything. It's rare, but it does happen. Um, 
if you get a repository update, that little window that pops up most of the time in the top left of the screen that states that there's some repository updates available. Every once in a while, if you click on that, um, for some reason, my uh, scripts just disappear. Don't know why uh, I am working with PixInsight on that. Um, all that you're gonna wanna do is go to resources. I would double check in updates, check for updates, and then run that process that we just went over. If that does not work, then what you're gonna want to do is actually reset updates. And what reset updates is gonna do is it's going to force a repository update and you'll get a box that pops up where, um, let's uh, go ahead, let's just reset the updates. You're gonna get this little box that you're gonna wanna click yes. Now it's gonna run through the reset updates um, procedure. You are going to want to exit out of PixInsight. If once you click yes, nothing happens, just go ahead and exit out of PixInsight. Once you exit out of PixInsight, it's going to prompt the PixInsight update window where you're gonna click yes. Again, you may or may not get the little box in the center of your screen that asks if you want to allow this application to make changes to your device. If you get that, go ahead and click yes. PixInsight should automatically restart. If it doesn't, then go ahead and restart PixInsight. At that point, you should get that little box in the top left that states that you have some repository updates. Um, if you get that, just click on it, run through that window again where you click select all and then okay, and then exit out of PixInsight one more time. Once you exit out of PixInsight, once again, it's gonna prompt the update, click yes. Uh, if you get that box about changes to your device, click yes on that. Now, you should get that um, notification. If you don't, go ahead into resources, updates, check for updates, that'll uh, prompt that box to pop up. So now once you run through that, um, PixInsight will restart and you should have under script, my scripts here. Now, there are a couple of issues that I have seen. Um, once you go ahead and initially install my repository link uh, under manage repositories, you click add and then click OK and it runs through that whole thing. There's a couple of things that could happen. I've seen um, some people get a invalid signature error. You're going to want to double check your PixInsight version and ensure that you have the correct version. Again, if you're on 1.9.0, my scripts will not work. You're gonna to have to update to at least 1.9.1 or higher, and you're going to wanna to make sure that you have the correct repository. 1.9.1 and higher is just the HLP Astro scripts, and then the 1.8.9 and lower, you're gonna see HLP Astro scripts uh, P, I 189 and lower. Make sure you have the correct repository. Having the incorrect repository will trigger the invalid signature error. Now, another common error would be a uh, 404 error or a 400 error. That most of the time is an invalid repository put into PixInsight under the repository window. I see that generally happening. If you were to just take this and highlight it and then copy it from there, if you have an extra space, it will trigger a 400 or 404 error. That's why I recommend when you go to do this, click on the link itself, click on the URL, and then directly copy it from there. That reduces the chances of having a 400 or 404 error. I'm happy you decided to check out my scripts and I truly hope that you enjoy them and that they help make PixInsight processing easier. If you happen to run into any issues, please do not hesitate to ask or reach out for any help as I'm only an email away. I strive to ensure that these scripts run reliably, but sometimes things happen.
And if you happen to run into an issue with any of the scripts themselves, please copy and paste the console output and send it to me in an email as this will greatly help in diagnosing the specific issue you've run into. My email will be located in the description of this video here. Until the next time, happy imaging and clear skies.